a Gaussian naive base example in cycleton. Here we are going to use the popular breast cancer dataset from scikit-learn library to make a prediction using GNB algorithm. The breast cancer dataset is a binary classification problem that contains 30 features and a total of 569 samples. In this table, you can see a more detailed description of this data. To follow along, please open the IPython file, the template, and start coding. Happy coding. To import in the libraries that we need, we need to import the scikit-learn data sets uh, to work with the data, which is the breast cancer. I'm going to call my data and then I'm going to load the data in this. Then here I'm going to specify the feature variable and the target variable. The reason that we do this, if you remember, just as a reminder, if you print out the keys of the data set, we have target, description, target names, feature names, data, and file names. So data is the columns associated with all the features that we have, and target is just a target variable. All right. Next, we need to split our data before we can generate our algorithm or develop our algorithm. So let's first import the split function. And then we are going to split our data into training and test. So I'm not going to specify the size of the test data set. By default, it's going to be 25% for test data set and 75% for training data set. Right, that's it. We split our data. We are ready to develop our algorithm. So first, we're going to um, import the algorithm. It's in the naive base module. And the name of the algorithm is Gaussian NB. All right, now we're going to make a copy of our own Gaussian naive base. I'm not going to specify any parameter here. We can also, in the same line, fit uh, the algorithm to our data. All right, so our algorithm is now ready to make a prediction. 
Let's make a prediction on the test data first. And also on the training. All right, now let's uh, see what is the accuracy score for our prediction. So before that, we need to import um, the accuracy score function. And here we're going to print out the accuracy. All right, so the accuracy score for our prediction for the test data set is 90, about 94%, and on training data is 95%. So there is not a lot of uh, concern for overfitting. So as you see here, it is a very simple algorithm to uh, apply. Let's now see the advantages and disadvantages of naive Bayes algorithm starting with the advantages of the algorithm. As you saw, naive Bayes algorithm and Gaussian naive Bayes algorithm particularly are easy to understand and also simple and efficient. They work well with high dimensional data and oftentimes they are used as a baseline for comparison against more complicated models. Now let's see the disadvantages of naive Bayes algorithms. The assumption that features are conditionally independent from each other given the class is not a realistic assumption. That's why these algorithms are called naive. For the problems that the assumption of conditional independency does not hold true, Naive Bayes algorithm, of course, are not going to perform well, so other alt classifiers are better. The confidence estimates of naive Bayes classifiers are not very accurate. And naive Bayes classifiers have no parameters to control models' complexity. 